Hey everyone, and welcome to Esports Unzipped, your hub for all things esports. My name's Karen Blunt, and today, we finally got an announcement trailer for Hearthstone's newest set, Rise of Shadows, where a group of villains will attack the magic capital city of Dalaran for all that's worth, forming a League of Evil. And that evil is an acronym. What does it stand for? Every villain is lemons, otherwise known as evil. I think that's a reasonable answer. With this set, we get to see some new and returning mechanics that longtime players like me will be excited to see. Some of the returning ones are Forbidden Spells. Forbidden Spells use all the mana available for added effects. We also see a familiar ability in arch villain Rafam. Look familiar? How about now? Yeah, we get an easier Golden Monkey, except it's only for Warlocks. And Rogues, if they manage to nab this card, you know, with their near infinite cards to steal class cards from their opponent, and the odds are even better in their favor since this rotation and there will be less cards for them to pull from, allowing them to get this card more consistently when facing Warlocks. You know, with cards like Pilfer, Pickpocket, Stolen Seal, Blink Fox, Face Collector, and Academic Espionage. We also get Swamp Queen Hagatha, who essentially is the new Kelzakis, except exclusive to Shamans and Rogues with good RNG. Swamp Queen Hagatha creates a Grave Horde that's loaded with two Shaman spells that go off when you summon it, changing how a game is going and possibly finish a game with a proper spell. The Grave Horde is only 5 mana, so it's very cheap to summon and can be comboed with a few other cards. For new mechanics, we get Schemes, Lackeys, and Twin Spells. Schemes grow stronger as the spell stays in your hand. And the worst part for everyone that faces these cards, there's no limit to how powerful these cards can get. Whether it be one turn or a hundred, these cards won't stop getting any stronger. So they really encourage long games. With lackeys, they're all one mana, one one minions that have abilities that represent their masters. They seem very interesting and can be great for early or mid games if used correctly. With twin spells, it is similar to echo except a little more flexible. As soon as you cast a spell, you get a copy of it in your hand, except without the twin spell text on it. Now, Dalaran isn't going to sit back and let these villains run around and have their way. So, they arm themselves for battle. Characters like Chef Nomi and Caligos take up arms to fight back the evil. Additionally, you can pre-order the set and get 50 packs, the card back, and a free legendary for only $50. Or spend $80 to get 80 packs, the card back, a free golden legendary, and a new hero, Madame Lazul. For a dollar a pack and a guaranteed legendary, these pre-orders are the best bang for your buck. You can even buy both to get 130 packs, a legendary, a golden legendary, a card back, and a new hero. So if you're really committed to Hearthstone or looking to get into the game, now is the best time. Additionally, during an interview, Blizzard announced that there will be no hero cards in the set. So it looks like Hagatha, Dr. Boom, and Zul'jin will be the only hero cards we have for a bit. But what do you guys think? Is this set going to live up to the hype or will it simply crash and burn and bring Hearthstone down with it? Why don't you let me know by tweeting me at ZTV Goofing Off and be sure to use the hashtag Esports Unzipped. Also, don't forget to tune in the number one college run esports talk show on 88.1 WZIP every Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time for even more esports talk. As always, I'm Karen Blunt. I'll see you guys next time.